Like to save money on water, we only flush once a week. And I say, <laughs> dude, this, you, you shouldn't be proud. <laughs> Hey there friends, how's it going? My name is Kevin and recently I did a little bit of a react video with Cinnamon Toast Ken where we watched some TLC and it was so fun. I was like, I gotta try some of this stuff on my own because it really, really opened my eyes to the insanity of the world. Do you like your blood with pulp or no pulp? <laughs> <laughs> And not to mention, it was just hilarious. So I want to jump in and do another one of these style videos. Uh, the world's cheapest date I'm going with. Extreme cheapskates. I'm looking forward to it. Let's jump in. Wait, what? Is this a street name or something? <laughs> okay, I, I assume that's a street name, like Fifth Third Bank. Because <laughs> is that like a boast? You know, they say like, oh, we're the world's best bank. It's like, oh, we're the world's fifth third best bank. I'm 29 years old. I've lived in Cincinnati, Ohio all my life. Oh no, I was kind of hoping he'd be younger. I don't know why. I was just hoping because I feel like a lot of young people are a bit on the cheap side for, for good reason. But if you're 29, oh, I feel like you should be out of that stage. Wait, what the hell is he doing? <laughs> Hold on, how did we get here? Sorry, I was thinking about his age and he was on the screen in a ballerina outfit so quick. We just kind of glossed over it. What does that say? Sexy and... Kronk? What's a Kronk? I'm gonna go on Urban Dictionary. The only Kronk I know talks like this! <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, Urban Dictionary is the same. The best character in the Emperor's New Groove. <laughs> Could be this one. <laughs> no, you know what? I'm gonna go with, uh, with option number three here. Tight, cool attitude. Or else I'm just reading it wrong. I'm a Zumba dance instructor. Oh, I just want to read the damn shirt. I'm only 12 seconds in. Sexy and I know it! Yes! <laughs> I solved it! Why is he the only one wearing the tutu? He's supposed to be the cheap one. Why is he going all out with the outfit? Then I'm an extreme cheapskate. He's, he's so proud of it. <laughs> like the little cheeky smile. He's like, yeah, I'm cheap. I'm standing at the checkout with a booklet of 100 coupons. That I will argue to the debt with the manager that I can use them all. I am within my right. <laughs> Yeah, the hydraulics. Isn't that an unnecessary expense in itself? I just love that they had to move the blur for the license plate. They're trying to track it. <laughs> I really wanted to buy this lowrider and I had to get $3,500 somehow. Okay. I got really lucky. The clinical study that I found online clinical was paying studies? the same amount. Wait, why would you get paid $3,500 to do in a clinical study? On average, you can expect to be paid anywhere from $50 to $300 per day. What? Even at the high end, that's like t 10 days? What, what did he say? $3,500? 12 days? And I had to get $3,500 somehow. 12 days of your life for a, ro <laughs> a low rider. And it's not like you're just sitting around. I imagine that was pretty invasive if he was getting paid that much. I had to put uh, ointment in my butt. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Sorry, I missed a little bit here. Let's just rewind. Ointment in my butt, but I got a car out. On or in? And I like how he follows that up with, but I got a car out of it. <laughs> it was well worth it. But I'll like, do anything to it. Maybe it was worth it, but it could have been not worth it. What if your butt fell off or something? I mean, that would be a pretty extreme side effect, but you know what I mean. Ointment in my butt. You just use the window squeegees. And you can really wash your whole car with it. Oh my god. I don't know who would spend money on a car wash when you can wash it yourself. But right like here. you're taking up the, the spot at the pump. All right, never mind. Let's just gloss over that and move on. One of the ladies from Zumba said, hey, my grandpa just passed away if you want to oh, live in no. our condo for free. What? You're supposed to mow her lawn. But you know, you can't beat free rent. He has free rent? And all he has to do is mow a lawn? I like how he's too cheap as well to actually buy like a proper lawnmower. Like nothing wrong with these, but you know he's only using it because it's the cheapest option available. If you're not paying rent, you could put half of what should be rent into a lawnmower once and have it for a few years. But no, no, I'll just keep being Amish over here. Uh, this is all from when the guy passed away, he left it all here. I didn't have any furniture, it worked oh, out nice. No. He's just He's using the furniture, yeah, he didn't even Kevin here. redo it. It's oh, it's Kevin! <laughs> Roommate of Extreme Cheapskate. I wonder, does he charge them rent? We got Raj and Kevin here. Kevin's it's my favorite. Women. I like how he's so cool that he doesn't even look at the camera. Like, Raj couldn't help but have this, like, glance that says, end me now, <laughs> straight into the lens. But Kevin's like, no, just ignore them, they'll go away. It's gotta be cheap production for them, right? Because they'll just say, look, we're literally going to interview an extreme cheapskate. Offer him $50. He'll do it. It's painful bringing women back to the apartment because furniture is everything. It's embarrassing. <laughs> it's This place so definitely terrifying. smells like old people. 
<laughs> That's Kevin's only input. Thank you, Kevin. But these things, like, they're kind of charming, some of them, but then others are just very, very creepy. Like, I don't think I've ever seen a bust of a baby. These cows remind me of Kevin. <laughs> the same kind of look on their face that says, I just don't want to be here. I don't know how much Greg pays for the apartment, but I do know that Kevin and I pay a pretty fair amount. It's a large three bedroom. <gasps> they don't know. They don't know how much he's paying. And then he's on TV like, I don't pay anything. <laughs> they pay me and I don't pay a thing. I knew I'd be able to take my roommates with me and uh, charge them rent even though I'm living for free. Oh my god, like, I get it, you have to charge them something, bills and whatnot, but not telling them. Uh, like, even just be honest, be like, I'm getting the place for free, but to be honest, I'd rather live alone. I'll give you a good deal on the rent if you want to come live with me, but otherwise, I'm fine alone, you know? <laughs> Try to be so underhanded with it. Oof. All right, where to begin? There's no point in paying for anything that you should- <laughs> He's, got, he's been going doing the rounds to collect all these. Like, at some point, you gotta say, what is my time worth? Like, I know you could get all this stuff for free, but I could just, like, work an hour or, you know, invest my time into something else to better myself. But no, I'd rather spend hours going around town collecting these free sachets of ketchup. I would never pay for paper plates or <laughs> Where did you steal these from? <laughs> I got lucky. I got these from my uh, my nephew's birthday party. Oh my god, he took them from his nephew's birthday party. I was gonna joke that he stole it from some kid's birthday, and he legitimately did. I had the bar low for you, but you just sank it ten foot lower. To save money on cups, um, I no. actually reuse yogurt cups. No. I got this from my grandma. This no! Way Dude, this literally makes no sense. Cups and stuff are a one-time investment. You just clean them. Go to a charity store or something, get anything. <laughs> it's so disappointing. But if we get a guest, I actually give them the big cup. Oh, so, uh, how nice. Feel special. Yeah, such a nice person. That would make me feel special, all right. Wow, it's the big one. Fantastic. Shots, 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 shots. Really, dude? You're, you're not even going to give your mom one of the big ones? Come on. There's no point in having a bulb inside a refrigerator. I took the bulb out of the refrigerator. What? It saves me almost $40 a year in electric. Uh, this is my is closet. Is that true? I was thinking it was ridiculous, but if it's $40 a year, like... <laughs> always leave the tags on the shirt because you never know if it's going to go out of style. So always keep the tags and you can just what? return them later. I paid for them. It's not stealing if you pay for it. I'm living... <sighs> It's just so much to unpack. He keeps the labels on all his clothes and returns them when? Like a month later? And just the fact that I paused it and when he pulls out the shirt, live in the dream. <laughs> what dream is it? Is it a wild fever dream? A nightmare? Can you be more specific? Because this seems awful. As soon as I'm done living the dream, I just return it. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. He takes showers with his clothes on. What? By okay, I know I've done that in the past, but I was joking, okay? Saving at least $15 a month because I don't have to use a washer, a dryer, soap. He when is I ridiculous. Take a shower, I keep a bucket in there and it catches all the excess water. Oh my god, me. no. At the end of the week when I'm ready to flush the toilet. At the end of the week? You flush your toilet once a week with used shower water? And pour it directly into the toilet and that's what causes the toilet to flush. Oh, you're feckin' that ridiculous. I love if they ask him what his job is. He's like, oh, investment banker. Yeah, I'm earning $500,000 a year. <laughs> oh, by the way, you mind if I turn off the lights for the rest of the interview? Time is money when it comes to light bulbs. I like going on free internet dating sites. By far the best part about online dating is you don't have to spend money on dinner and drinks. And but like, when do you enjoy life? Or is this the enjoyable part? When do we get to the fun part of your life? <laughs> this girl's kind of hot. Uh, she likes fancy restaurants. And That's a no. <laughs> yeah. Nope. You want someone who stays at home, does not move, and does not use any electricity. Amish and boring is what you're looking for. Homebody, good cook. Oh, she likes camping. Oh, she Camping's likes free. long walks. Oh, well, walking's free. free. Yeah, there you go. I like this one. Nothing to do with how she looks or personality or anything. Just like, she seems cheap. <laughs> I like her. Um, you look kind of cute. Okay. He's very confident in himself. <laughs> I guess confidence is also free. As we both met on a free dating site, I'm assuming and hoping that she is a cheapskate as well. 
I'll email you the address. I don't think cheapskate means the same for you to everyone else. Like when I say cheapskate and even going into this, when I said cheapskate, I was thinking a very different league of cheapskate. I wasn't thinking don't flush the toilet for a week because it costs money. The more I think about it, it's just a unique mix of cheap and lazy because you could have like a water collection barrel or something outside and collect water that way. You can get cups most likely for near free in a charity shop. And like, I know you have money. You bought the, you bought that stupid car for $3,500 by rubbing ointment on your ass. <laughs> so I know you can get money. I've taken Brandy to a barbecue restaurant because it's much cheaper than like a sushi place. But I'm okay, hoping they're going to an actual restaurant. So she's not as hungry. <laughs> Why would they eat before? He's saying, I hope she ate before so she's not that hungry, so he doesn't have to buy any food. But like, why? Who does that? It's not a normal human behavior. He's an alien. I'm telling you, he's not of this planet. What do you think of the place? I like it. Pretty cool? Yeah. yeah. It's different. I it's love it. Different. They let you like yeah. keep utensils and everything. <laughs> what a chat up line. Oh, they let you keep the utensils. Wow. This place is the best. <laughs> Do you think you could save up and say, I'm not going to take utensils for the next five times, but can I take a cup? Uh, how many forks equals a cup? Giddy up! <laughs> Where's the beef? <laughs> oh, I can't wait for this date. I'm more excited than she is, that's for sure. Get to play barbecue. Awesome. How about something to drink? Can I have a water. sweet tea? Sweet tea. Ooh, ah, uh, water? How about water? Oh, you like water? Water tastes better than sweet tea. I guarantee it. The water here is amazing. I honestly think it's not even been rubbed on someone in the shower. It just comes straight from the shower, right into your glass. Are you real hungry? Uh, I'm not starving or not oh so like you want to like share a meal maybe <laughs> as soon as she okay. said she was being so sweet and polite and just being oh well i'm not starving like i'm okay and then okay you want to share a meal maybe maybe we could just get the breadsticks together did you see the kids menu the everything kids just flip it over to the other side and it's only 4.95 oh no he wants to share something off the kids menu oh do you think they get one of those like little placemats that you can color in and stuff like that's free that sounds like a good time because it's free we could get a veggie plate that's only 550 or you could get the uh sweet and sour hot sauce for only 295. i think it's not only about like not spending money he gets genuine joy look at that face that is pure happiness at the thought of only spending 245 on a meal for two of them i've learned that greg doesn't like to spend lots of money. Wait, really? Hold on, let me rewind. I didn't really pick up on that throughout so far. Or you could get the uh, sweet and sour hot sauce for only two ninety five. Oh yeah, it, actually, now that you've mentioned it, yeah, that does seem to be a recurring thing. Um, I'm just gonna take the pulled pork sandwich. All right, that's pretty oh, popular. No, that's not off the kids' menu, is it? He's about to interject. He's seen red in the form of above single digits when it comes to the price. Pretty good. Oh, is that pretty good size? The pulled pork sandwich. It's a nice portion. Uh, uh, like big enough for two, probably. Just depends probably. how hungry you are. Oh, no, dude, come on. Just let her have a sandwich. He forced that so hard. This poor woman. I can physically see where her heart breaks. Uh, like big enough for two, probably? Just depends probably. how hungry you are. Look at that. You're not real hungry, right? Nah. Okay. You're not real hungry, right? Nah, don't even wait for an answer. This is the accurate reaction you should have for that. Like, you're being polite because you're in the hospitality, you know, food sector, but you're also like, you're insane. And this is just the help me, please get me out of here. Will you go on a date with me? Can we get a rib? Okay, you like uh, a rack of ribs? No, just like one rib. Just one rib. The, the Thank rack you very is much. Like kind of expensive. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, I think this guy has been like this for so long. He's so twisted to the point where I, he thinks this is impressive. Like he, he thinks that she's going to be impressed that he's good being so economical. You know, not cheap. It's it's intelligent. <laughs> it was different to see him really not care. It was a little. Oh, oh, I'm so sad for her. Like, she probably doesn't mind. It's a first date. She's probably just like, feck that guy. But she just seems so normal and so disappointed by the whole thing. Here's the rib. Your one rib. Oh, right. Thank it's you. just a single you rib. Um, you no, want to okay. try some of this? There's plenty for both of us. I can down this whole mustard tub they got here to fill me up if I don't have enough after all. You sure? Yeah, it's... There's not a lot there. That's really good though. Yeah. <laughs> Would you want some uh, macaroni? 
Oh, yeah, actually, I would love some macaroni. Oh, Maybe no. a little bit of pork, too. Yeah, well, we'll just do about half. Oh, my yeah. God, this woman is an angel to compare to him. Like, to save money on water, we only flush once a week. And I say... <laughs> You, you shouldn't be proud. <laughs> so you guys go to the bathroom the whole week and you don't flush. That's pretty disgusting. Thank you. You come over, I'll let you flush. <laughs> what a gentleman. <laughs> you come over and you can flush. <laughs> wow, I might just take you up on that. <laughs> You're such a charmer. I like how out of all the things he could have brought up as well, he went straight to like, I don't flush to the toilet as they're having their meal. Once. Once. If she can flush once. It's a one-time thing. It's a special occasion. Some people go to Disneyland. I flush the toilet once a year. When you pull that lever, it's just like serotonin everywhere. Flying all over my brain. It's a euphoric. <laughs> you know, you don't really know what you have until it's gone. And when you stop flushing the toilet, it really hits different when you finally get to use it. Well, he's cleaning all the utensils and taking them home. Yep, plates as well. Are you gonna eat the food? Wait. Oh yeah, absolutely. Oh no, right. that's why he's cleaning it up. He's oh. gathering the food for later. Oh my God, it's like a squirrel gathering nuts for winter. You just store them in your cheeks on the way out. <laughs> it's just mouth full of <laughs> suckers. Oh, don't forget your to-go yeah. cup. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta use that. Why doesn't he Craig always use the to-go cups instead of the like used yogurt cans? I don't, I don't know what they are to be fair. Maybe it's like styrofoam. I don't know. I don't think it matters, to be honest. I think any container that can hold liquid, even if it's this ashtray, he'd take it. It's like, oh, that's mom's cup. The one with the ash in it. I want to grow like me for me. I guess at least he's honest. He's not pretending to be someone else. He's going right in there on the first date. It's not like he's tricking her and, and paying for everything the first date and then gradually going to this cheap lifestyle. He's very upfront about who he is. So... You got to give him that. Like to save money on water, we only flush once a week. I'm curious what she's going to say, because the body language is definitely saying, I want another date. <laughs> and that's what he's asking her now. Even though he's a little cheap, I could look past that and definitely... What? He's a really sweet guy, so I would definitely go out with Greg again. Uh, everyone, there is hope for us all. I am shocked. I am actually shocked at this. This doesn't make any sense. My brain is trying to think of a way out of this. It's like, this cannot be real. There's no way. There's no way. She seems so nice. And he seemed like a lunatic. Hi. Oh, okay look at that. Me. I carry no cash. <laughs> who, who even stocks this shirt? Is this just what you wear if you live in a rough neighborhood? <laughs> I carry no cash. Well, the moral of the story is... Uh, be yourself. Be... Be cheap. Be... Save when you... Uh... Uh, don't flush the toilet. <laughs> there we go. I got it. I got it in the end. If I was one of his roommates, I'd offer to pay extra just for the toilet to be flushed. No way I'm living like that. Honestly, he'd probably charge an arm and a leg. Maybe that's why he says it'll be $30 a month because then he's just like, then, well, if you want to pay the 30 bucks a month or like the bulb, it's like, if you want to pay me $40, then you can have a bulb in the refrigerator. <laughs> she definitely blocked his number and everything after that date. I mean, she seems so nice, but maybe it was just the cameras pressuring. My brain really wants to believe she doesn't give him a second chance. <laughs> so she asked him about his personality to say to flex the fact that he doesn't flush his toilet all week. That's the thing. I don't know if he has a real personality personality other than he's cheap that's it <laughs> yes okay good it's not my insanity this girl straight up isn't having a good time but she's trying to be nice that girl was lying through her teeth you all know damn well she never went on another date with him or even talked to him again because that's what my brain was kind of going down the route but at the same time i don't know if it was just like a self-defense measure for my sanity <laughs> bro is so cheap that he's gonna end up with 10 kids if he ever gets married because he ain't gonna pay for a condom <laughs> and he's gonna send them to the mines at the age of four all right folks well i guess we'll end it there let me know if you like this sort of thing because i i think i'd like to do this sort of content i really enjoy it it's just a blast honestly just looking inside the human mind it feels like such a different perspective on life now if you don't mind me i'm gonna go steal some condiments from uh, various restaurants and flush the toilet 75 times today so i hope you enjoy your day thank you so much for watching subscribe if you're new and i hope to see you the next time bye for now